Hello everyone, welcome to Charging Into The Postseason. I'm Roll Riggs for Chargers TV. Alongside me is Trent Arnold and Justin Bryan and we're going to preview the upcoming finals for this weekend in the SEABL for 2017. And we're going to kick it off with the women's elimination final between Hobart and Launceston on Friday night at the Doing Entertainment Centre. Tip-off is at 7.30 and it's going to be a fantastic game and it's going to be a ripper of a game. It's going to be a big crowd. We've already heard the ticket sales are already going fast so make sure you get Get on Ticketmaster to get your tickets or go through our website at hobartchargers.com.au uh, and also to what's on in app as well too. So gentlemen, let's um, let's start off with what happened last time and, and Trent, I'll start off with you. The, the, these two sides have met the last two times. What's happened? Yeah, two comfortable wins for the Chargers so far this season. Fans will remember from round one at the deck, it was a comfortable win there and then they went up to Launceston in round 15. Got the 26-point victory, 99-73. Uh, Kathleen Shearer and Alex Shibatoni dominated, uh, while Mansfield and Roberts were quite uh, challenging for the visitors. And Justin, let's preview Friday night. Obviously, this is going to be uh, going to be a classic. Obviously, I know the the first two meetings were were a little bit lopsided, but it might be different in finals time. Yes, well, it will be a very competitive game, Ronald and Trent. We have a lot of superstars playing on both teams. We have the likes of Lauren Mansfield, who's just come off an Opals stint. Uh, we have Kathleen Shear coming off a Defensive Player of the Year. It's going to be a very competitive game. A lot of great rebounders, the likes of Taylor Roberts and Michaela. Um, Roof playing for us, uh, the young guns who can shoot like Rebecca Abel, Shana Thompson, there's going to be a massive mix of players floating around and we can't wait to um, see what happens at the deck. Absolutely and give us your tips fellas and who do you think and why? I'm going to say the Chargers are going to get up again at home. Uh, the Chargers have played very well at home. A bit rough to start the season, come home really strong in the second half. I think Kathleen's got a point to prove particularly um, after what many would question could have been an MVP season. Uh, the likes of Alex Cherbatoni getting ready to go uh, into the WNBL again. Michaela Roof dominating um, as she has for the last six, seven games. I really think this is another game for us. And I'm going to pick about a 20-point margin, about 83-64. OK, you've heard it there first. Uh, Trent, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I'm, I'm agreeing. I'm too comfortable wins for the Chargers so far this season. So I think there's another one coming up this weekend. Maybe not quite 20, but I'm thinking double digits. Uh, Kathleen Shearer has absolutely dominated in both games, so I assume that happens again and she takes the team over the line. And all, and I'm expecting to for the Chargers to get this one as well too. In a close one, I think it's going to go into overtime just to give the capacity crowd at the Doing Entertainment, Entertainment Centre some real excitement. We'll take a break and we'll come back with more right after this. <laughs> Welcome back, and as you've seen in the uh, commercial break there, Michaela Roof hitting that three-pointer in Launceston at the end of the first quarter to uh, pretty much seal the deal for the Hobart Chargers against the Lonnie Tornadoes there. We're going to preview the men's semi-final now. It is Ballarat taking on our very own Telstra Hobart Chargers. Obviously Hobart finishing second and Ballarat finishing first. Uh, on the head-to-head, -head, unfortunately, uh, we lost out on, on first place where Ballarat was able to get it on points with head-to-head. -head. It's a very different system compared to other systems with percentages and the FIBA uh, rules as well too. So there's a little bit of a modification there but second place we still get a double chance and to look back on the last couple of games as the last time we met Ballarat is Justin and mate what happened last time well last time was a quick turnaround for the Chargers at home the previous week in round 10 we managed to win by 8 95 87 and then the following week back over uh, we lost 81 76 so we managed to split the games during the season um, yeah, just real shootout games, a um, few statistical anomalies like teams winning rebounding matches and not winning the game or teams turning the ball over more and still somehow winning the game. So yeah, real topsy-turvy sort of battle during the season for both teams. And Trent, what are you expecting uh, on Saturday night at the Minor Dome at a 7.30 tip-off there? What are you expecting, mate? Look, Ronnie, it could go either way. Like Justin mentioned, the regular season was split and it really took a hot shooting night from Hobart to win at the Kingborough Sports Centre. So we're going to have to see a repeat performance, I think, of that if Hobart is going to get over the line and take the win on the weekend. And, what, and what's your tip going in for Saturday night? Look, I'm going to back the Chargers in. 
in a close one. I think we're going to see a bit of moo magic down the stretch like we did last time in Kingborough, so that's my tip. And Justin, what's your tip going into Saturday night? Well, I said it's going to be a shootout. I think the Chargers' best shooter is Rob Hayer. I really think Rob's going to come out and have another big game. It's going to be absolutely tight. I'm going to pick a buzzer booter to really sink Ballarat at home. 86, 84 the margin to Chargers way. And of course, it's going to be a sellout there at the Minor Dome. The fans are expected to, to get there. And also, there's a bit of a travelling crew uh, from Hobart coming up to support our very own Hobart Chargers as well, too. I'm expecting the Chargers to get up on this one. I think they're due for another win against Ballarat. And I think, uh, you know, Muo and Whitehead and Hayer will have a huge impact uh, on Saturday night. We'll take a look back now on some highlights from the Chargers season, especially in the men's, and you might see a dunk from Tommy Gallup as we take you to the break. Welcome back, and Tommy Gallup there throwing a few dunks down for us during the 2017 regular season. We're now going to preview the rest of the finals, and we're just going to give you some tips. We won't go too much in depth, but we'll give you some tips in the, and we'll start off with the women's. And so in the East Conference far, uh, East Conference semi-final, I should say, uh, it is Kilsyth who finished on top, and then uh, they're taking on Geelong, which finished second. So give us a tip, boys, in that one. Uh, Kilsyth at home, they've been very dominant all season. Geelong have put up a great fight, so I do expect a tight game, but I do feel Kilsyth will get the W in this one. Yeah, I know we all love an underdog story, but Kilsyth finished on top for a reason, so that's where I'm going to go. All right, in the other semi-final, it's an elimination final between uh, Sydney uh, taking on Nutter Wadding. Sydney, the new kids on the block in the league this season. Um, also, too, the Basketball Australia Centre of Excellence finished in fourth, but were ineligible uh, due to uh, final, due to some rules in regards with finals and with their fixturing of the league. So, therefore, Nutter Wadding finished fifth, so therefore Nutter Wadding got bumped up to fourth. But give us a tip here, Justin. I think Nutter Wadding, with the experience, might actually get the chocolates here. I know Sydney have tried really hard throughout the season. As you said, new kids on the block but I think that finals um, experience that they lack will probably cost them in the end. Look, I'm going to go for Sydney with this one. Uh, I like that energy they're going to bring, so I feel like Sydney's going to take it at home. And in the South Conference, it is Danong who finished on top in the South, taking on Bendigo, who finished second. Uh, Forty Justin. Rangers were dominant all season. Uh, I think they'll continue on. Yeah, I agree with Justin, 100% on the Rangers. Uh, let's go into the men's now and we go into the East Conference where Mount Gambier will take on Nutter Wadding at the Ice House this Friday night. 8pm tip-off at the Ice House. Who, what's your tip there, Justin? Uh, toss a coin in this one. Um, I might take Mount Gambier, to be honest. Yep. Uh, I'm going to continue with the trend and pick the home squad again there, Ronnie. All right. Uh, Geelong and Sandringham. Geelong finishing third in the East Conference. Sandringham finishing fourth. Yeah, pretty confident in Geelong in this one uh, at home. Uh, they've played well all season. They're looking like real title contenders. I'll take them. Okay. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Another home squad for me, R Ronnie. Uh, take Geelong. And in our own South Conference, it is Danny Nong taking on the Northwest Thunder, our arch rivals from up northwest. And Justin, who do we think in this one? As much as I'd like to say the Thunder, I think they got fairly lucky with their travel away. I think it was a tremendous effort, but I don't think they come away with the win this time. Yeah, I'm going to throw my heart behind Tasmanian basketball here and get behind the Thunder. And my tip for this one will be Northwest Thunder. I think they can do two in a row and a remarkable story with issues with flight delays and, and technical issues with the airplanes and then getting over to Melbourne in the nick of time and then uh, turning up to the game with 10 minutes warm-up time left and then to go out there and absolutely spank Dan Nong was an absolute remarkable victory in itself. We'll, uh, no, we won't take a break as I'm looking at the script there. We will, we will give some final thoughts on where, excuse me there while I put the iPad away, the, where the Chargers might just end up and who they might face going in closer or deeper into the postseason. I'm pretty confident that the men are going to get a home grand final and I'm pretty confident they're going to get a fourth season matchup here with Ballarat at home. Yeah, I'd love to see the home final. I think we all would and that's what we're going to be rooting for here.
Uh, and what about in the women's? Can, can the ladies advance next week? It's going to be a tough ask. I think they can. It'll just be a matter of the legs, the experience, um, the fitness levels maybe. But it's going to be a tough ask. I do see them making it through um, to next week and possibly through to the granny. It's going to be a big ask though. Mm. Yeah, I think they've got a lot of talent on the squad. We've got Kath Lynch here, one of the best players in the league. Some would argue the best. So I think there's a real chance that Hobart can advance. And for me, I think the lady, uh, sorry, not the lady charges, my apologies. The Hobart charges women's side will advance through to next week. I think they'll get the win over Launceston, as we've said earlier in the broadcast. And I think the men will also get through to a grand final. Who they'll face, I think it will none of them be then Ballarat. We'll see them in two weeks. And in the women's, I really think it will be Danny Nong. Um, we'll, we'll see in the grand final. Well, there you have it, folks, and uh, certainly a great... Uh, a great season all round by the Hobart Chargers to make it through to the semi-finals. We'll see if they can get through to, to next week or the following week. So the men have got to win in Ballarat to host the South Conference Grand Final. The women have to win to stay alive in the final series. And, uh, gents, we might be back here next week, I think. What do you reckon? Well, I think we'll be back either way. Hopefully it's not commiserating the loss of the um, women's charges. Hopefully it's getting ready to progress them on further. And hopefully we're not commiserating the men's loss going into a do-or-die semi. Um, we're preparing to go into a conference final. So positives all around here for the charges. Oh, Trent? Yeah, I'm looking forward to recapping two wins and previewing another two who wins the week after. So. Well, there you go. You've heard it first from, from the boys here in the Chargers TV crew. So Friday night, 7.30 tip-off at the Doing Entertainment Centre. Make sure you get your trackside, back, or backside trackside. They used to use a quote from Dwayne Davey earlier in the year. And it's going to be an absolute ripper of a game. We're hearing that there are a lot of, lot of, uh, a lot, <laughs> a lot of Lawn System fans making the trip down by a bus and car. And we expect all Hobart Chargers faithful fans to get along to the deck and support your team, the very own Telstra Hobart Chargers. We hope you enjoyed our first little preview show called Charging Into the Finals. And we'll be back next week here on Chargers TV.